Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're continuing a discussion on writing your own warm-up. How do you how do you know how do you pick what you're supposed to be doing? How do you know what steps to take? And last time we talked about maybe the first thing that you might include, but maybe you won't include. If you watch the whole thing, you'll kind of get what I mean. Uh, we talked about foam rolling and self myofascial release. And today we're taking the next step and we're just going to talk about general movement. Now, this is showing my bias a little bit, but I work in a you know corporate wellness scenario training Googlers who are stressed at their jobs. You know, they sit down most of the day because most of them are engineers uh, or they're in meetings or both. And then they come to the gym and they want to get a workout in. Now, if you've been sitting all day, you probably don't want to just throw yourself into a workout, right? Uh, yeah, the, the, the answer is yeah, you don't want to do that. What I've found is people don't necessarily need something really, really specific. If they just spend a lot of time sitting down, they probably just need some sort of general movement. And so I just, you know, sometimes I like to just make people go for a walk. Uh, you, you know, we got a track right outside one of the gyms. I just say, hey, go take a couple laps or uh, we got pickleball courts. Go play pickleball for a little bit and then you'll be warmed up. Sometimes just some general movement like that is enough. Like if you got a spike ball net in the gym, we used to do that at iFast all the time. iFast all the time. Uh, that stuff is great. Like that was the best way to warm up because I could get all this, you know, multi-directional movement. I could kind of warm my hips up. I would start sweating, which is still very important for a warm up. It's not just about choosing the right mobility exercises, but it's about working hard and warming up literally. <laughs> uh, but today, we, you know, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. We're going to talk about that more. Today, we're talking about just general movement. So general movement is good because it just gets you moving around. If you haven't been moving, then yeah, you should probably move around. And if you, you know, outside of that, even if that's not really what you need, it also is a good way to just kind of free your mind up. I have a lot of people who are really distracted when they come in. Their phone has been buzzing. They've been answering pings or little chat messages all day. And they just, you know, they had a disagreement with a manager or their compensation is getting lowered because their stock options are vesting. Uh, whatever it is, that stuff gets on your mind. And sometimes you just need a second to kind of decompress to process that stuff. And just sitting on the bike for a few minutes is really good for doing that. So sometimes, hey, just get in the gym and just start moving. That's especially important if you really don't feel like doing much. Uh, that is actually the number one thing that I have been doing for my warm ups. I still do mobility reset stuff, but for the most part, I need to make sure that I move out, move around a little bit, and I need to make sure that. You know, I'm clearing my mind and I'm getting ready for this workout. 